Today, I want to show you how to mask or crop images with shapes on Keynote for your Mac, like you see here. All of that in today's demo video. So here we are, we have Keynote open on our Mac, and we're going to create a new presentation. Just go to Basic, and we're going to choose White. To do our work today, we want to use simple blank slides. So we're going to come over here to the right-hand side of the screen, into your inspector, and go down to choose blank. And now we have a nice blank slide, and we're going to add images to it. So we can go up here in the top center, to media, and we've already created an album in our Photos app that has all the pictures we need for our presentation. That's a tip to get things ready. We've already created an album with all the images and videos we're going to need for today's presentation, and that's a tip to help you make things a lot faster. You know all the images are in one place. We want to start today by showing you a tip you may not know about that can make all of this a lot easier if you have the right photo. We're going to take this image here of this toy on a background. On the right-hand side in our inspector, if we click on image and then simply click remove background, the Mac operating system in Keynote automatically goes through and cuts out what it thinks is the background. And you can go down here to the bottom and click done. And now you have your image all cropped out and ready to go. There's a little bit around the edge here, but overall that's much quicker than anything else we would have done. Some photos that'll work great for you. For some, you're gonna want more precision or more customization. So we'll show you some of that today in actually masking by using a shape. We'll go up here to the top left We'll choose add a slide. This time we'll choose a blank one. Go back here to the center. This time we're gonna add a pretty simple shape from our collection. It has all these crates. So now what we're gonna do is go up here to the top center, choose shape, and choose a square. Now what we're wanting to do is to crop out this blue basket where it's the only one that shows. That blue is kinda of hard to see the difference between the two. So go over here to our inspector and just make it yellow. So it looks totally different than anything else on the screen. Come back to the center, and now we'll drag this square till it overlaps the image that we want to have left behind. Click on the corner and drag it until you have the entire image covered. If you need to adjust that a little bit, you can. With that square selected, we'll hold down the Command key and click on the image behind it. Now we'll go up to the top of the screen and do Format, Image, Mask with Selection. We go back, shows us, this is what it's gonna do. It's gonna crop out everything else on here and leave the square. That's what we want, so we'll click Done. And now you simply have that one crate instead of all of them to use however you want in your presentation. Let's say that you need something round instead of something square, like maybe a basketball. So again, we'll go up here and we'll create a new blank slide. Go back to our center media, to the album that we created. And now we'll bring up that basketball picture. For this one, go back to the top center, click on shape, and choose your circle. Go back to your image, you have a circle. This time, with your circle selected, you'll hold down the shift key. As you drag the corners, it will keep it the dimensions the way they're supposed to be, exactly a circle. So you keep moving it, holding the shift key down, dragging that out, do that from any corner. Hold the shift key, drag it out, hold the shift key, drag it out. Now, while that shape is selected, we'll hold down our Command key, and we'll click on the image behind it. Now, with both of them are selected, we'll go to the top left of the screen again to Format, Image, Mask with Selection. And again, you can see here it's shading out the background. We can go down here to the bottom and click Done. And now I have our basketball all cropped out and ready to go. You can go over to the side here to Format, Style. You can go down and add a reflection. Looks like the ball is sitting on a shiny surface. You can even do another level and go over here to the shadow and choose this contact shadow, which then adds to your shape. And now you have something you can put on any kind of background you want with that rest of it removed perfectly round for your basketball. Now there's also a lot of shapes that Apple has in here. So sometimes you can use a shape with a complementary background to create something totally new and artistic for your presentation. So again, let's go over here and add a blank slide. This time we're gonna fill the screen with an image. So we'll go back to the center, back to our media. We're gonna choose this sunny picture over here out in the country. That fills our screen completely. We wanna have a little bit of fun with this. So if we go up into the center here and choose shape, let's just type in tree. We can click on this tree shape and it's dropped right here in our image. So we wanna bring this up here again Hold down your shift key. You can drag it so it stays proportional. We're just gonna make it as tall as our screen is. 
One little tip for working with shapes when you want to put it over a certain part of your image, if you come over here to the right hand side of your screen, you can adjust the opacity and bring it down where you can see through the shape. And now as you're working on it, you can move it exactly where you want it. Let's say we want to get that sunrise right in the middle. We'll hold on our command key and we'll click on the image behind it. Then we'll go up to the top and do format image mask with selection. Now, if we look at this, we've got it cut. You can kind of see around it. So we're down here to the bottom and we'll click done. Because of the way the sky is, some of this begins to fade out. And you might like that for your presentation. You're ready to go. If you want to add a little more definition to your image, come over here on the right-hand side. And where it says no border, add a line. You can set it for black. Right here, it's set for five points. And now when you come back and look at your image, you clearly can see your shape outlined, filled in with that image. So it's up to you what you want to do with that. Again, you can move this around. If you resize this, you can do the same trick you did with the basketball. You come over to the right. You can add a reflection. It will reflect it right there at the bottom. You can add that contact shadow. And now it actually looks like you have this tree sitting there on some kind of a glass white surface made up of your image. You can drop it over here on the side, have some nice text next to it. And now you have something more creative than the original photo or the shape, either one by itself. There's even more you can do with this when you start to think about shapes, images, and video. So let's go over here, add a blank slide. We're going to go back to the top and add our media. We'll put in our picture here of a guy walking in the rain with an umbrella. Now this image doesn't actually fill our screen. It's not, it's too narrow. If we go to arrange, we can click original size, and now we can see, oh, our image is big enough. It just brought it in and cropped it. And so we can make this fit our screen. If you zoom out in the top left here, we were at a little over 100%. Let's drop down to 75%. Now where it's bright here is where our slide is. So we can move this around. We know in our image, we want to show this man walking and we want to have him around the center of it. So that's pretty good. But now come up to the center, click shape. And this time, type umbrella. Let's use this curved one because we're not on a beach. Now again, when we get to this, you can simply wait for the arrows to switch and point both directions. Or again, you can hold down your shift key and then we'll resize that. We'll let go of the shift key, drag it. Again, the little trick I showed you last time, you want to adjust the opacity to see where the shape actually is. So go over here to the right-hand side. We'll go up here to Style, and then we'll come down and drag the opacity over. Just like 65% will be fine. Now we can see it. We're going to continue to drag this, holding our shift key down to make it a large image, a large shape. Drag the shape over. That's a good shot right there. So now, with that shape selected, We'll hold down the command key and we'll click anywhere on the image. We'll go to the top of our screen, format, image, mask with selection. Again, you can use this keyboard shortcut if you want to use that. We're just keeping it simple and going to the menu for right now. And now our image has been cropped. So we'll go down to the center. That works for us. So we'll click done. And that's pretty good. It's an interesting image of a man with the umbrella. Again, like we did before, we're going to come over here to the right hand side. We're going to click on this reflection box, and this time for the shadow, we're going to have this drop shadow behind it, and we're going to bring it off a little bit more. We're going to increase the opacity, and then we're going to blur it more. So if we look at it, we can see we've got the reflection, we have that dark shadow, but we want to add video to this. So again, we'll go up in the center. I've got some great resources linked in the video description. I use Unsplash to get all the photos I'm showing you today, and you can get a great free account and get great images for your presentations there. I also use a website called Pixabay to get video files from. That's where we're going to show you this one today. We'll go up here to the center, to our media button. We're going to add this rain video to the background. Again, if it's not big enough or not set up right, you can drag it. Those little yellow lines will let you know that you've arrived in that top right, top left corner. Then you hold the shift key down. Come to the corner and drag it to fill the screen. Those lines let you know it's centered and it's ready to go. But we don't want it to be on top of our image. And so we'll go over here to the right to arrange and choose back. Now it's all set up here. The last thing we want to do is check a few settings. So under movie, we, there's no audio to this, but just in case it did and you don't want it to have one, you can bring the audio down. Lower down in this option is a thing that says start movie on click. We're going to deselect. We want the movie to play automatically. We don't want to wait for a key press for that to start. And then to get a preview of what this will look like on somebody's screen, you can just press that play button. And now you have an umbrella cropped photo of a man with an umbrella in the rain that has a reflection like rain would do with a shadow over a rain video. 
and think about what creative ways you could use different shapes with coordinating videos to create a more impactful and wow factor in your presentation. Now I'll tell you, when I was working on this, I thought, what this seems like it'd be a great opportunity to do something with a window. So I'm gonna show you something that's a little bit more involved, but where you can create a window, cropped image, and then create different backgrounds for it. So again, starting here, real simple with our blank slide. Go over to the center, add that photo I was talking about of the window. We want this to fill our screen. And so this time we're just gonna double click here in the width and type in 1920. They'll go back over and we'll drag our image and then we'll bring it up to where the window is centered on our screen. We're not worried about top and bottom. That's not what anybody's gonna see. We're gonna work through this image. So the first thing we need to do is create squares that will cover each of these window panes. We're not cropping it out, but we need to create a window that's gonna require two layers of shapes. Ready for something more advanced? Let's dive in. Shape, we'll go basic, square, bring this over here again you can use that transparency under style and drag it down around that 60 percent so we can see it okay now we're going to drag this and try to cover as much of that as we can if you have a trackpad you can stretch your fingers apart to zoom in or pinch them together to zoom out like you would on an ipad you can also use your zoom up here so we're going to zoom in to this square to see as detailed as we can because we really want to get precise with where these images are. It's not an exact square, so we'll have a little bit of overlap in the window. We'd rather for part of the window frame to be cut out than for part of that photo to show through underneath. If you right click, you can go down to duplicate. It creates a second shape for you, which you can then drag over onto the square. You can see again, not perfect, but it's a good starting point. Drag it down, drag it over. Now we will tap on the shape. Same trick again, right click, duplicate. We got that square, bring it over here. We'll zoom in a bit, make sure it's overlapping. And we'll go here in the bottom, drag it till it's figured up, ready to go. You can click on this one, duplicate, drag it over. This is a bit time consuming, but there's a wow factor here. And you may be able to figure out a great use for this in your next presentation. But we'll start back with that little shortcut again, right click, duplicate, now we'll drag this down. Again, same trick, right click, duplicate, drag it over really close. Again, we'll go in and look at it, right click, duplicate. This point you're wanting to just be done, but one more, if we do it right, it'll save us a lot of work. Right click, duplicate, drag this one over. It's a little bit bigger, so we'll need to make sure that covers it. So now we have all four of our windows covered, but we want the window frame to be kept we wanna cut holes where the windows are so we can see through it. So to do that, we will go up here to shape, choose our rectangle. We wanna make this a little different. So we'll come over here in the top right, we'll choose yellow so it looks different. We also wanna show you a little shortcut here. We wanna fill the screen. And so you can just go to arrange size and type in your screen size if you know it. We know ours is 1920 by 1080. And when we go back, after typing those in, all we have to do is drag this till it's centered and that fills the entire screen. Here's another little pro tip that will help you out when you're working with a lot of items on your screen. If you go over here in the top left to view, you can choose show object list. This now shows you a list of everything on your screen in order from the very top level down to the bottom. So we have that photo that's the background, all those squares are on the same level, but that's the order that we created them in. And then we have this one on top. To make this project work, we need to drag this one all the way to the bottom. And we have two more steps to do that are a little bit more advanced. You are gonna go on here and click on one of those squares. Make sure that yellow is not selected anymore. You hold your command key down. And while it's held down, click on each of the other shapes that are blue so that all eight of them are selected. Then you come over here to the right. If you're not already there, you wanna be under a range in your inspector. It has these options for you, unite, intersect, subtract, exclude. When you choose unite, the computer now sees all eight of those shapes as one shape, which is awesome, because you're gonna have that selected, hold our good old friend, the command key down, and now click on that yellow shape. Now this time, go over to the right, and instead of choosing unite, this time choose, choose subtract and it will subtract the blue shapes from the yellow, creating your window frame. It looks a little freaky, but we're not done yet. 
Remember, we want to crop out those windows so that we can see through them. So our next step is, while our shape is selected, you should know by now, hold the Command key down, click on that image. They're both selected now. Over to the top left, you should know, Format, Image, Mask with Selection. And now if you come down here and click Done, you have a window frame that has nothing behind it now. That white is just the background of our slide. So let's go up here to the top under Media. Let's add a different scene. This time, let's add this scene here. This one, again, not the same size as our slide. And so we will come over here to the right-hand side. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that it didn't just shrink it for us to fit it on the screen. So we'll click Original Size. Uh, there we go. We can see that it shrank it. And so we'll drag this and you have your object list over here. So you can just drag the photo behind your frame. And now you have a whole different scene that it looks like you're looking out your windows into a very different place than you were before. Now that's impressive. Here is the next level to that. Let's click on this slide over here in the left. Right click, duplicate. Go over here and click on the image. Let's delete that. Instead of an image, we're going to drop a video in. So come to the top center, Media. Just like we did with the rain before, we have this image, a similar mountain scene, a lake, some trees, but it's a video instead of an image. We get that same warning. I'm going to click OK. Video comes in. Go over here to your object list again. Drag it behind your frame. Go over to the right to Movie. Bring the volume down to nothing. Go a little bit further. D, select, start movie on click. And now you can click on play for a preview. And it literally looks like you're looking out your window into this mountain scene. There's one more level. If you want to talk about getting outside, getting outdoors, if you want to talk about the world outside your window, there's a lot of metaphors you could use or little instructions you could use. So let's say we take this slide over here on the left, right click on it, duplicate. Now very important here, we go back on that first slide with the video. We want to make sure this is selected, play movie across slides. What we're about to do, that's very important. Now I'll go back here to the second slide, same thing with the video, and we're going to zoom out, click on that frame that's on top. When those two arrows show up, begin to drag it, and we're going to put it where it is so big that it's like we're looking through just one window pane into the outside window. Keep dragging, may have to shrink this even more. Now that's all set, go back to your first slide. Let's zoom back in here. On the right-hand side of your screen, click Animate, Add Effect, and choose Magic Move. It's gonna give you a warning on your screen. You can click OK. You can go over here to the right and click Preview. When you transition, it will look like you're literally going outside the window, outside. The video will play, and so it will look like this. We have our nice scene. We want to talk about going outside. We advance our screen and it goes to the outside of the window. That is several ways you can crop or mask an image with shapes in Apple's Keynote for Mac. If you like this video, give it a like. If you've got a question or idea, leave a comment below. Hope this is helpful. Thank you.